Hey, is it the right time to be investing in the Dubai real estate market or anywhere for that matter with this entire US election stuff going on, with where the prices are, with this weird pandemic situation? Check this out. I was yesterday with uh, one of my friends. He's an investor, owns 10 plus properties and has been investing in the London and the UAE Dubai market for the last 15 plus years and he had some key insights that I want to share with you. My name is Fahd Daud. I've been doing this for 14 plus years. I started in Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been doing this in Dubai. Okay, I'm also the author of The Intelligent Real Estate Investor. You can buy it off Amazon or you can order the ebook. If you want to work with me, you want to buy a property, you want my services, there is a contact form below in the description and you can reach out to me. Look, so I was sitting with him and here's the thing. Every investor has slightly different end objectives, okay? Now, as I explained to you, he's been in the market 10 to 15 years. He's already got 10 plus properties. At one time, he was making 18% return on his properties, right? Per, per annum. And in some cases, it was more than that because... He used to bring a lot of value. Uh, he used to do Airbnb, short term, uh, knew what he was doing. And because he used to bring so much value, he used to be able to take out much more. Now, if you watch any of my older videos, then you know that I generally talk about a return between 3 to 10% in real estate across the world. However, uh, in one of my videos, I talk about a 14% return per annum. This gentleman was making 18 to 25 percent, but the main reason is because he was adding more value. So the more value you end up adding, the more money you end up taking net income into your pocket. I hope that makes sense, right? Okay, let's fix this a little bit so voice is clear. Now, I want every investor when you're looking at real estate now it doesn't matter if you're looking at real estate in dubai or anywhere else in the world it's very important for you to identify identify your key criteria and your goals okay if you're looking to start out in the real estate market i don't recommend that you should be looking at distressed properties now this is just my personal opinion I don't recommend that you should be looking at distressed properties to flip them immediately. Why do I say that? Look, real estate is a game and an art. And the more you stay in it, the more you learn about it, the better you end up getting, right? I hope that makes sense. It's like, it's pretty, it's commonsensical. So now my friend in the real estate industry, he's got so much experience that as an investor, his long-term gain goal right now, or let's say his short-term goal as a real estate investor is dart in and dart out. So he wants to go into the market, pick up a distress, flip it and dart out. He is not in it because he's got a steady portfolio of properties that he's holding long-term. He's not gonna sell them until and unless he gets his price, right? So with everything else, the excess cash that he's got, he wants to dart in and dart out, dart in and dart out. Just get in there, get the opportunity uh, and leave, right? Basically buy something 30, 40% below market price and then sell it at a margin. You know, even if he makes uh, 50 or 100,000, essentially he's making about 20, 30% or 20% in a matter of weeks, like two, three weeks. He's not somebody who's looking to hold the property long term. now. He's somebody who can do that. Why? He's got tons of experience. Agents can't fool him, right? So they can't pitch him a property and say, hey, we can sell this and turn it around for you for 20, 30% profit. He's in the market. He's got his finger on the pulse of where the prices are. Even though I surprised him yesterday with some of the prices that I was telling him with actual data that I had access to that I was giving him. Now that's his story. What about you if you're a first time investor? or you're looking to just get your feet wet into the pool, right? I don't recommend that you should be looking to dart in and dart out, okay? Why? Because you wanna get your feet wet, you wanna get some experience under your belt before you start looking at distressed properties, before you start looking at the high risk properties, right? 
You want to know what you're doing so that you can digest it. There's nothing wrong with risk. So the higher the risk you take, the more the reward. But you should be able to, with your mindset, digest the risk that you are uh, going to be undertaking so that you're comfortable and you know what you're doing, right? Because the more comfort you have, the better generally you perform. And this is the key thing that I would like you to take away from this and I'd like you to uh, perhaps go away from is my friend who's an investor said, you know, we were talking about prices and where they are at the current moment in time. And essentially he said, this is his opinion, okay? Even though prices hit rock bottom in Dubai, if you look at one of my videos I talk about, has the market bottomed out? Prices hit rock bottom in April 2009, last time. We're at a 2.5% difference in August 2020. That's how low prices have gone. We're still predicting that prices might go further down a little bit. However, have we hit bottom? Not sure, but my friend, who's an investor, very seasoned, said, anybody who buys a property today and holds it for five years, now this is his opinion. Again, I'm telling you, it's his opinion. Holds it for five years is for sure gonna make money because we're just at such a bottom and the real estate market essentially goes in cycles. So if you end up purchasing a property today, prices might further go down, right? Okay, so listen to me because the report I quoted in my video has the market bottom down. I clearly stated that report, the person who's written it is a data nerd. He knows what he's talking about, right? You've got access to the report as well. I've given you the link in my description. That report states clearly that we expect prices to go further down in November. So what? Maybe prices go further down for another six months before this weird pandemic evaporates from the face of, uh, face of the earth and before the vaccine becomes completely accessible to everybody on earth, right? Bill Gates is predicting that, he's essentially predicting that by next year, towards the end of next year, there should be enough vaccine for everybody to have access to it. But then the next three, four years, when the world is on its path to recovery, when Dubai, that complements the global economy, is on its path to recovery, guess what? The next five years, you end up making money. Now, this is his opinion. I'm not pushing you, right? Don't hold me to it, right? Because I am somebody who doesn't believe, I shouldn't say I don't believe, but I like to take a more process-driven, systemized approach rather than depending on where the world economy goes rather than speculating, right? I prefer to buy value because value always remains timeless and you can always make money if you buy value, okay? Hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon and the like button. If you disagree with me, if you've got general comments or you've got a general situation that you'd like me to address, you can put it in the comment section and I will address it. If you want to buy a property or you want my services, I do run a paid service. I'm a, I work as an agent. You are welcome to reach out to me. There is a contact form below and we can work together. Ciao for now. Bye.